Hello everyone, this is a video about how to turn your cartoon character into a soap mold. So before we begin, the creative challenge of this task uh, really is in the design of your character. So try not to steal images offline. If you do steal a basic little character, you've got to change it somehow. You've got to put your own little spin on it. So this character here, his name is Fusion Frog. You can tell because he looks grumpy because he's got to use Fusion and he's pointing at his laptop. But anyway, so here is my picture. Okay, it can be any picture. All you need is a nice large scale picture. If it's two centimeters by two centimeters, then that's, that's too small. It has to be larger. And it needs, when you take a picture of it, you need to have a nice contrast. So you need to have nice, strong black lines. If the photo you take of your scan is on an angle, if there's shade on the paper, you need to retake it. There's a good app you can get called Adobe Scan on iPhones and Android. And it basically just takes a photo of a sheet of paper and it's converts into a scan and you get nice, strong, crisp black lines. But all right, so that's our character, Fusion Frog. All right, I've emailed it to myself. I've got it saved on my computer. So now I go to Illustrator, File, New. All right, so it's very important that we find our units of measurement. They're normally set on pickers, I think. Right, that's the default setting. You want to change them to millimeters. Right, that is important because when we when we take our Illustrator file, when we take our DXF into Fusion, we want Fusion to read the units as millimeters. All right. Anyway, so I'll do that again real quick. File, New. Here's my unit units of measure width and height both set to 100 then click create All right if your if your illustrator setup looks a little odd you can click windows workspace and then click reset essentials and it goes back and sets everything to default layout so you might have some weird funky layout with your tools in different places windows workspace reset essentials i think that that's a good tip in general. Alrighty, so we talked about this briefly the other day. What I'm going to do is make a little background picture here and I'll change the color to something like this. Alrighty, and then I'll make a new layer. Alright, so you guys don't worry about this layer one, that's just there for demonstration purposes. Alright, now I mean Illustrator. I've got my 100 by 100 millimeter file. I go now. I want to put my nice crisp black photo of my cartoon character into the file. File place. All right. So it probably should be probably should be a JPEG. If you saved it as a PNG, that's fine. But JPEG is probably what you want to use. Where are we? Alrighty. If your file is gigantic, what I like to do, move it into the middle. So move it roughly into the middle of your picture. And then go Object Transform Scale. This is probably huge. So I'd say we've got to scale it down by at least to at least 20% of its original size. Click preview, maybe 10% of its original size. So click preview. Okay, so now I've got my frog. I'll do that again real quick. File, place. Find the sketch. Just tap to put your sketch in. Oops. File. Place. 
right? And if it's gigantic, get the black arrow. Use the black arrow to drag your drawing over. You want to center it because if you go straight to scale, it will scale down and it'll be off here somewhere and you won't be able to see it. So it'll, it'll scale down, but it'll be shrunk right down here and you won't be able to see where it's gone. All right, so you put the character roughly in the middle. Object, transform, scale. All right, we already figured out that 10% is good. Click OK. So I'm going to place my character in position. All right, I want the character to fill up the majority of the frame. So I'm going to hold shift and drag the corners. Right, and I want to make sure the black character lines are just inside the border. All right, so that's pretty close, pretty close. Eyes just at the top, toes just down the bottom. Right, if I get in a weird position where it's over here somewhere, double tap the little hand and it sets it back to the default view. All right, so we've put our picture in, we've scaled it, we've made it the correct size. Uh, now, we're going to convert our JPEG into a DXF that we can use uh, in Fusion. So, first thing we've got to do, click on the object. Click on the picture, object, image trace, make and expand. Let's click OK. All right, so now it's instead of being pixels, we've got paths, which illus which fusion can read. All right, so one of the things I did earlier was put this red background in, and that's so you can see. So this whole area, this whole white area around the frog, that's actually an object. If you import this into Fusion as is, you will have a massive white border. So that's no good. What you want to do is find, so what you want to do is find your magic wand. It's here. If it doesn't pop up in your menus, type help and type wand. Right. and you've got your magic wand. All right, so what the magic wand will do is click, will select all of the white and leave just the black outlines. So click on the white and then press Command X. All right, and that's kind of what I want to demonstrate. So if we didn't have that turned on and I press Command X, it's very difficult to see if anything happened. So that's, that's why we've got our red background. All right, at this point, we can get rid of the background. That's all good. All right, we're almost ready to export. The last thing we need to do is trace a border around our frog. So actually, earlier, ooh, and this is interesting. So when I click, there's two little black dots up there. So if you've got random little black dots, you can get, instead of using the black arrow, the black arrow will select everything. You can get the white arrow and just drag over those little black dots. It'll only select the little black dots and then press Command X for cut. All right, so here we go. Here's, here's my frog character. I'm going to shrink him down once more, just a little bit, holding Shift. All right, frog's good. Converted to outlines. Now, we need to... Make sure we don't have our fill color on, but make sure we've got a stroke. So click that little arrow to get rid of the fill color. Now we're going to trace around the frog. The border can be quite large. I'm being a little messier than I should for time. Once we finish, I'll show you the trick to smooth out your line. All right, with the pen tool, don't drag. Just tap, move the cursor and tap. 
If you drag, you get odd curvy effects with the stroke. Alrighty, outline around our frog, not very nice, not very smooth. Click on the black outline, object, path, simplify, and you get a nice smooth angle. The lower the number up here, the smoother it gets. Let's go 94. Oh. Might go... 88. Alright, we've got a nice smooth line around our frog. Brilliant. Click OK. Alright, and this is all you need to do to your illustration to convert it into a soap mold. So at this point, press Ctrl A to select everything. File. Export as. And when we go to Fusion, we're going to insert a DXF file. So after we do this whole process, make sure you click DXF. And export. Click OK. <coughs> okay, so just remember, you can't go file, save as. You have to go for file, export as. And that's where you've got the option to export it as a DXF. All right, cool. Next video, I'll show you how to import the DXF into Fusion and turn it into a soap mold.